on the back end of this, we can now try to convert from hexadecimal back to decimal. And again, we already know the algorithm. We just have to make it work using some, some form of two's complement when we know we're dealing with a negative number. So, so something like this, we're dealing with 1, 2, 3, 4 as a hexadecimal digit, trying to convert that to decimal. Signed or unsigned, I know that's a positive number. If it's unsigned, it has to be positive because we only deal with positive numbers. But if I tell you it's a, a signed number, then it's also positive because that first digit, the 1, is 0 through 7, which means that leading most significant bit is a 0. Once I know I'm dealing with a positive hexadecimal value, then I just apply my base 16 math like we've learned in previous videos. So it's 1 times 16 cubed plus 2 times 16 squared plus 3 times 16 to the first power plus 4 times 16 to the zeroth power which comes down to 4096 plus 512 plus 48 plus 4 which gets us to 4660 as the answer. This example takes us down the twos complement path because we're looking at this and where is it? So BBA4, I tell you it's a signed hexadecimal value. I see a B, that's a letter that's, you know, that tells me it's a negative number because it's in that 8 to F range which means the most significant bit in that number is a 1. So there we go there. So we have to do something. I'm doing, again, the hexadecimal subtraction method. You could do the convert the convert to binary, do the two's complement, and convert back to hex method if you so choose. But I really do feel like this is an easier method uh, doing the hex subtraction here. So four hex digits, so four Fs go up top, and I subtract off BBA4. What do I get? So F minus 4. 15 minus 4 is 11, so that's a B. So 15 minus A is 10, that's a 5. 15 minus B, which is an 11, that's a 4. And then the same, you know, 15 minus 11 is a 4. So I get 4, 4, 5, B. I add 1 to that, and my end result would be 4, 4, 5, C. So again, B, B, A, 4 is a negative value. 4, 4, 5, C is the 2's complement additive inverse of that number. So whatever number 4, 4, 5, C is, that's the positive, that's the magnitude of the negative number that this thing actually represents. So at this point, now we can go back to the algorithm we've previously done. So 4, 4, 5, C, so 4 times 16 cubed, plus 4 times 16 squared, plus 5 times 16 to the first power, plus C, or 12 times 16 to the zeroth power. So 16,384 plus 1,024 plus 80 plus 12 gets me 17,500. And again, I know this is a negative number, so the last step is just to absolutely remember to slap that negative sign on there. So BBA4 resolves down to, in decimal, negative 17,500. And again, one step that I negated to put in here, neglected, is just to make sure if I added BBA4 to 445C, you know, then I would get basically my zero because they better match up, you know, a number plus its additive inverse better give me zero if I'm doing the math right. Okay, now your turn. So what I want you guys to try to do is to take the hexadecimal value beef, and I tell you that's a signed hexadecimal value, and I want you to try to convert that into decimal. What do you think beef turns into in base 10? I know that beef is a negative number in hexadecimal because first off you told me it was a signed value, and second off I checked in B because that is the A to F range of values, that has to be uh, a leading most significant bit of 1. So beef is a negative number. So if I do some form of 2's complement, I convert beef into the positive additive inverse. And then once I do the math, I can convert that into decimal and then slap a negative on the end, just like we did in the previous example. So B-E-E-F. So I can take and I can just take F-F-F-F, four digits, and subtract off. So 15 minus 15 is 0, 15 minus 14 is 1, 15 minus 14 is 1, and 15 minus 11 is 4. So I get 4, 1, 1, 0. As the base result, I add 1 to the deal. So my end result is that the positive hexadecimal value of magnitude of this number is stored as 4, 1, 1, 1 in hex. 
All right, that's pretty cool. So now that I have the positive magnitude of this negative number I'm trying to create, I just do the algorithm where I just add up the powers of 16 for each digit. The number then is 4 times 16 cubed plus 1 times 16 squared plus 1 times 16 to the first power plus 1 times 16 to the zeroth power. So it ends up being 16,384 plus 256 plus 16 plus 1. So the positive magnitude ends up being 16,657. And as we remember, we know this number is negative right off the bat but because beef has that most significant digit. So we have to remember as the final step, slap a negative on this thing so the re result ends up being beef converts into negative 16,657 in base 10 decimal. So that handles everything we need to know about converting between decimal base 10 and hexadecimal base 16 using signed representation. So if you have any questions, make sure you contact me by email, come into my office hours, get those questions answered somehow. Thanks for sticking with it. We'll see you next time.